first of all i would like to share my extreme happiness and pleasure to present a paper of nairul sheikh who is absent today he is currently studying at darul da islamic university and is my student also so thank you thank you all so my topic is comprehensive study on india subjugation after independence 1947 to 1962 on foreign dominance goa portuguese and pondicherry friends so first of all i would like to share a quotation about colonialization and a famous scholar said about colonialization that colonialization of places or countries ended but the colonialization of cultures rituals beliefs and our attitude is going on today also and it is in extreme measure today because of globalization and other things so at first just we have to introduce an outlook about it india as you know as we know everyone india got freedom at 1947 but some countries some territories of india didn't get freedom at that time famous of that goa and puducherry puducherry means pondicherry goa was under the control of portuguese and puducherry was under the control of french as we know goa is now a big tourist place in india at that time alwal was also the big tourist place and portuguese wanted to continue that place under their control but they continued their cruelties in that place so uh, india wanted to annex that place due to the security issue and other issues to indian subcontinent to indian country indian nation to will be more phosphorus and great to india as we know before 18th century there were many inventions by british by french by portugal and other countries in india but after 18th century they changed their ideology slightly they began to introduce their progressive methods their developments also in these continents but uh, as the result of that progress that development we know the goa was listed at under the unesco world heritage site at the time of second war second world war the goa's neutrality helped goa more to gain their development their progress because we we know there were two powers axis axis powers and allies allied power all of to these powers were keen interested in the land of goa according to that germany sent three ships to goa's uh, uh, to goa's seaport and italy also angered one ship to the goa but the portugal portugal portuguese authority this time exploited their chance to exploit goa more by putting in front of by by putting some demands some promises in front of goa's people there were annexation of goa that was at the in the name of vijay operation we know vijay in hindi means success that was successful operation that was led by indian armed forces there were 36 hours strike strike to annex goa at last 
Goa came under the Indian rule ending 451 years of foreign rule in Goa's territory. At the last two days, there were 22 Indians and 30 Portuguese were killed in fighting for the annexation. For this course, this annexation was got received bad merit, bad impressions and good impressions according to uh, world weight. As we, as we say in detail about the annexation, there were Portuguese were cruel in that area and this cruelty led the people, their civilian satyagrahis to demonstrate against the Portuguese in 1955. But Portuguese authority didn't accept, didn't receive this, their arguments, their demands, they rejected their demand of freedom. But there were, occur, there were occurred frequently conflicts and clashes between civilians and armed forces of Portuguese. To end that clash, Indian government introduced Vijay operation under the First of all, Indian government directly requested the Portuguese then Prime Minister Selza to grant independence to, in, uh, to Goa and to be the part of India, but the Prime Minister rejected it. Then Indian troops directly entered the Goan territory and annexed it to India in 18 December 1961. We said the, the, the government operation was called or said violent aggression against its national soil and citizen from the worldwide. And they got negative and positive marks from the worldwide. That we know everyone in India or every territory in India celebrate their independence day in August 15, but Goa celebrate their liberation day in 19 December every year to remember this day. According to how this uh, annexation or how was the background of this annexation, there were some movements from the civilians, mainly the resistance to Portuguese by Goa Congress Committee. The main leader was Tristadora Bragansa Kunha, a French educated trainer and engineer, he made a committee uh, in the name of Goa Congress Committee in 1922 earlier. To, uh, at that time, the Goa was under the strong, uh, strong power of Portuguese. And they began to resist against Goa, Goa government, Portuguese authority, but they rejected it and they stood against their resistance. And Sunha at that time made, uh, published two books, one booklet called 400 Years of Foreign Rule and another pamphlet called Denationalization of Goa. These two booklets were more influencing, more influencing in the people of Goa and outside of Goa. And these messages, Goa were in the clashes and conflict, these messages came into the ear of uh, main nationalist leaders like Jawaharlal Nehru, Subhash Chandra Bose and uh, Rajendra Prasad, then President of India, and they planned the Vijay operation. When we trace back to the Goan annexation, how it ended to a a, a conflict end or in massacre end it was the really the it, it, its reason was really the machines to, taken by Portuguese authority toward the Goa because Portuguese Portuguese demanded or they deemed dreamed that 
Goa will be under the Portuguese authority all time and that will be a foreign a mandatory state for Portuguese authority. But India or the people in the Goa didn't want that argument. Goa has two kind of statement. First was Union Territory and second was statehood. At first, 1961 of December, uh, 19 December of 1961 to 30 May 1987, it was under it was as a Union Territory, and there will be a, there was a Lieutenant Governor of Kunjiraman Palat Kandat. He was the chief of the Union Territory, and later it was came under uh, as a state like any other state of India. After 1987, it was formed as state and they conducted elections. And uh, as we know, now also it is a independent, clearly independent state like Kerala or Maharashtra or any neighboring states. And Pratap Rana, a great government leader, who was a chief minister of Goa and Dam and Dew, as in, uh, he elected as first, he was chief uh, chief minister directed by Lieutenant Governor. Now, as the democratic method, he, select, he was selected as first Chief Minister of newly formed state of Goa. And when we say about the ideology of Goa and district, there are two subsections of Goa, first North Goa and South Goa. North Goa further divided into three subdivisions and South Goa is two divided into seven subdivisions, so there will be total ten, ten subdivisions. And about the Pondicherry, Pondicherry was under the French authority, there was, there was no clashes because when at the first time Indian government demanded, requested uh, French authority in Pondicherry to annex Pondicherry also to India, but they refused it. But by the pressuring their authority, they, with, uh, they withdrew from the Pondicherry and the Pondicherry also annexed to Indian government. And Goa and Pondicherry, there is some type of linguistic or rhetoric linguistic of uh, culture or inf uh, fact is because we know there are there is uh, English and we know there is Portugal is uh, ruling and Goa at the same time the French go, uh, ruling at the Pondicherry French uh, national language is France French and because we know Pondicherry has French also and at the time uh, Goa there is English and uh, Hindi and uh, English and Hindi, but at the time of official communication, at the first time they used English for official communications. And there is Tamil as also in the Pondicherry. And after it merged with India, Telugu and Malayalam obtained the same status in Pondicherry because there is a Mahi uh, subsection of uh, Pondicherry that lying in Kerala and there is Malayalam also. Tamil is a uh, language spoken by Union Territory Government, especially while community, communicating and among Tamil majority districts like Pondicherry and Karaikal, and Telugu used while communicating among Telugu district Yanam, and Malayalam is spoken while communicating among Malayalam district Mahi in Kannur. And demography of these languages, Tamil, there is two lakh. 20,749 in Pondicherry and Karaikal district who speaks Tamil and there is 31,362 uh, 31, who, who are speaking Telugu and there is 36,823 36, who are speaking Malayalam and there is only 10,000 who are speaking French. 
and there are two various languages there is Kongani and Marathi they are specially made in Goa and Pew, they are uh, in Goa they are using to communicate between them this is uh, not a part of our presentation but as we just as we just discussed about it it is the uh, Andaman and Nicobar, but uh, there is no uh, kind of annexation. It was directly and came under the independence of uh, under the independent India at the time of Independence Day. Okay, this is the paper. So I am very thankful to you.